So if you ever come out here to your engine powered camper and found that one of your drawers has fell off, well, I'm gonna show you how to fix it. All right, this is the stuff you'll need. Uh, drill, hammer drill, screw gun, column, uh, a little bit of silicone. For mine, it's a Phillips to take the trim off. And then I have these screws, self metal, self tappers, and I bought stainless because they will never rot, rot out. So I'll never have to do it again. I got, I'm gonna use the inch and a half. This makes it a little easier than the one inch. And also get a knife to cut the uh, old silicone, the old silicone off. And then I bought this type of silicone just cause they said it was good, but I got clear and I wish now I got white, but it'll be all right. All right, so I need a flathead too. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop these clips out right here and get the door off camper run away so we can work there it is all right we'll do the same on the other side then we'll take this screw out and we'll cut the seam down to only where we need it to go and then uh, see what's behind. Screw out. Use easily. Cut it. Keep it at angle because you don't want the metal to scratch the paint of the camper. Just put it right down the edge. You don't want to just go yanking because this actually forms, you can see, a round piece of aluminum. And then you got your pop rivets. And this is actually what has, what they've done, they've come loose, as you can see. And they actually hold the door on too, so everything just come loose. So you don't want to just go yanking and mess your track up. And this will just cut it or rip it on there, and then this will all work its way off. But don't pry too hard, just uh, keep, keep working it back and forth, and you'll eventually get it all the way down without messing anything up. You don't want to bend your track and you don't want to crack this trim either. All right, got our drill bits. What we want to do is find one, which this one works, that barely bigger than the hole because we don't want to wallow out the hole that's already here. We just want to get these pop rivets out of the way so our screws will go in easy and hold. All right, so we got our drill here. All we want to do is just screw in and then uh, start drilling. So you can see the head come on. And we're through. We just want to do that for all of them down here to hold the door. This is the hardest part. This is where our screws come in. I'll do, I'm going to stick them through. And then three, of course we'll have our door up here. So the door actually pinches behind this right here. And uh, so you either have to take a jack or some wood and hold your door up when you get it in here you get a couple of screws started and then once you get a couple started then you don't have to wait but I'll probably have uh, someone help me so I don't know if I'll get a video of that or not but uh, we're gonna go ahead and do it here so I'll be right back let's put the door on a couple of screws so I'm gonna do and when you get it right it'll actually go in fairly easy without with that and you want them you want to get tight there's no play but you don't want to suck them in because it makes it really hard to get the trim to go back around the ledges so you want to get in there tight where there's not play but you don't want to suck them in to where it bends this in and crimps it all to where you can't get your trim to go back on or look right because it could have waves in it you know wave all the way down through there as well you can see we've got all our screws in sheet metal screws stainless so now we're going to put the trim on what you want to go underneath kind of and then push up like so sometimes it might get tricky around the screw heads but you can either run them in a little bit farther or back them out to make it work right so we're just going to work it all the way down 
like so. Alright, now we put our screw back in here at the end. Now we're going to take our silicone and we'll run a bead just right down where we cut. And I should finish it. I don't know if you can tell by the wind, but it's about to rain, so I don't want to trap moisture in this. It wasn't supposed to rain today, so what I'll do is put it off caulking it, let it dry out, and then I'll come through here and do it all. That's it. Once you do that, door's fixed. Make sure it'll lock on the bottom before you really put all your screws in. Other than that, it'll last forever. Thanks for watching.